Hey what's up world, One Tech Traveler here, back again with another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be checking out a very big red package from the guys over at Viva Barefoot in London, UK. Their newly launched Geo Court Men's, which is a contemporary urban shoe that also doubles up as a sports shoe made for tennis. And then a very stylish and slick Viva Barefoot Magnet Trails made for hiking and climbing those mountains. If you haven't heard about them, then definitely stay tuned for this video as we have a look at how these can transform the ways that we reconnect with our centers on our feet. Like always, you can check out my article and visuals at onetechtraveler.com. I'll put the link just down below. And if you haven't yet, make sure you join Team KBA and subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos like this one. Right, let's get down to it. Front here it says Vivo Barefoot and we have the logo. Slice open this up and let's just lay them out on this table. Really nice, I can place it anywhere and just a change from the uh, table, switch it up a bit. And first up we have the larger box and it is housing the black Magna Trail. That's one, two. Uh, here we have the more slimline box. You can see them stacked just like so nearly like 60% of this. And this is the Geocourt Men's. So something that you notice quickly if you search up about Vivo Barefoot is just how they like to position themselves more as a conscious, sustainable and forward thinking company trying to really infuse more sustainable, recyclable uh, and innovative materials. And that even stems down to the box, much more friendly for the environment. 0% glue, 90% made of recycled paper, 37% less paper than their previous box, 20% less energy and emissions during the paper making process, 100% water or soy based ink and varnish, and it is 100% recyclable. So that is across both these boxes. And then we have one more, a sweater. Wow, it's really cool. Nice, you can see on the back, has that nice outline, a minimal design with the logo just to the left of me. It is in partnership with uh, Rapa Nui. They also make sustainable fashion uh, throughout every part of the process, who they work with, the materials, where it's sourced. Might as well just put this on right now. Wow, this is like really buttery soft, feels great in the skin. There's 100% organic cotton, which adds to that softness and also helps to retain that warmth as it's pretty cold right now here in Seoul. This is actually an extra large, uh, definitely for a looser fit, but something that can act well as an outer layer and layer up with some shirts underneath. Um, but if you want a more fitted look, then you can always go for your true size. They didn't have my size in stock. But here are some pictures and footage of me wearing the sweater in a more lifestyle outdoorsy environment. going to unbox each of these. Which one do you think I should unbox? Let's start off with the Magma Trail. It says hand wash only, don't machine dry, and line dry only. Let's open it up. All right, the first shoe. Give you a quick look, nice. Just gonna take both of them out. Really nice. Okay, here we have it. We have the Magna Trail, give you a front and side view. I'm gonna talk through the exterior. So we have a Corduro fabric, which is very rugged, mixed in with a water repellent nylon. On the top, it has a glove-like fit, and this is a neoprene sleeve that arches over your foot and over your ankles. Towards the side, we have some nice detailing. Uh, these lace loops are actually uh, metal. And if you can see closely, it has a Viva Barefoot logo. And that is four with the fifth one at the top, contrasting against the black nicely. We have the Viva Barefoot logo also imprinted onto this nice detailing, which also gives extra heel support, as you can see it 
weaves from side to side. And this is the front profile, so we have no separate visible tongue. It is the neoprene sleeve, but we have two tabs from the front and the back to help you slide your feet inside. Now moving on to the back, you can see we have really high traction and a grip for the bottom outsoles, the red contrast, which outlines also the Vivo Barefoot logo. Um, but we have these like three pronged shapes and that's gonna give you a lot of traction and grip for the most rocky terrains, but also for those wet conditions. That thinner outsole is gonna use more of your feet muscles, get used to it, strengthen them up. Like I mentioned, this is water repellent, nearly waterproof, but definitely uh, going to deal with those uh, flash rains and even if you are caught out for a period of time. Uh, one thing that I really like about this is the Outlast insoles, 300% more thermal protection with only three millimeter thickness. The amount of time for your feet to get cold with no insole is four minutes normal insole eight minutes and with these outlast the thermal insole lasts over one hour can get mesmerized with all of these recurring patterns on the bottom gives me a lot of confidence in knowing i'm going to get a lot of grip with these as hiking shoes these are really understated have definitely more of that contemporary look urban lifestyle uh, but also doesn't sacrifice the performance you need and like I mentioned just touching on sustainability uh, the fabric that i mentioned earlier they are also using recycled pe to material materials and of course we can see with the front shape it is much more curved rounded and a bit wider than your typical shoes uh, which means that you're going to have a bit more room and it's something to get used to but it also means going to allow the toes to sort of splay out let me put it on and show you what it looks like before we head over checking out the geocorp men's <laughs> And then now, let's move over to the Geo Court. Now, the box is a lot slimmer because these are low profile shoes. And here we have it the Geo Court. Looks really cool. Again, a very contemporary urban lifestyle, very familiar, and something that you can definitely wear for your everyday shoes. Take the second one out. Let's take the stuffing out. Oh, this is really interesting. They have these recyclable paper like straws. That's good. I'm trying to cut down also on the amount of paper stuffings. Here we have it the Geo Court Men's. Again, we have that same Vivo Barefoot DNA. You can see the shape is very familiar from the Magna Trails. It has this sort of curvature to the front and runs a little bit wider. So we have the Vivo Barefoot logo. It's a really nice uh, bold red. It's kind of a deeper red. This is a leather construction. And you can see from the side profile, we have the blue here. This is more like a teal blue. It has like a slight green tint to it rather than your typical blue, uh, but really adds a nice accent towards the back. There's the lacing system, probably similar and very familiar to shoes that you currently have. Uh, definitely feel similar to uh, my everyday shoes that I'm using right now. And then towards the rear bottom, you can see it says Vivo Barefoot. Now, something to mention is this heel is absolutely solid. Like I tend to wear my heel faster, as I mentioned with the magnet trails, uh, but this gives a lot of confidence when you are sliding your feet in, if you do tend to wear the heel further. But it's also because these shoes are designed to be worn for sports and in particular uh, tennis. Now, as you can see from the bottom has a completely different grip profile compared to the Magna Trails. These ones have a hexagonal pattern uh, with very small space in between them. We have these 
green parts with the Vivo logo. It still has the hexagonal pattern, uh, but it's a lot more etched in, like dimpled into the outsole rather than having a flat profile. I'm not sure, you might be able to see that. We'll see how that translates to overall grippiness. These ones are really interesting. They are using Algeo Biomass as the high performance foam uh, compared to your synthetic petrochemical EVA foams found in typical shoes. Um, and when they harvest algae biomass, it actually cleans and restores the environment. So it's kind of a win-win both in the process of using algae biomass to reduce the amount of plastic that is produced in shoes. And the inside, it kind of has that mesh paneling quite open so you can see underneath it. Let's put the Geo Court Men's on and just show you some lifestyle shots. <laughs> Alright, so we have finally unboxed the uh, Magna Trails and the Geo Court. Really excited to try these very different pairs of shoes, but they all share the same Vivo Barefoot DNA. These are my first time trying out Vivo Barefoot shoes. I'm really curious to see how the more natural form-fitting shoes of the Vivo Barefoot, Magna Trails and Geo Court fare for my own feet, both in your everyday lifestyle, like walking around the city, exploring, traveling around, hiking, and even exercising to some extent both sports calisthenics outdoor trainings if you know from my instagram so that wraps up our unboxing of the geo quarter and the magna trial and of course the rapa nui sweater and you can find my individual reviews that will also be published on my website so check it out at onetechtraveler.com and if you are curious to learn more about vivo barefoot or these particular shoes uh, then i'll drop the links just down below where you can check them out last but not least if you enjoyed this video do give it a big thumbs up always appreciate it and why not join Team KBA by subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot world, I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.